All right, here we have our quarter cable drill press. This is one of the newer drill presses that we have in the lab. I'm gonna run through real quickly uh, some of the component parts on that. Uh, we will start out here. This, of course, is the table where you will work, rest your workpiece on to drill through. Now, this is a cast iron table. Uh, sometimes you will also notice that there are different jigs and fixtures that are made of wood that are go on the top of this to help and avoid drilling through the table. One thing that you do not want to do is try to take a drill bit into this table because chances are you will snap the drill bit uh, as well as damage the piece of equipment. So uh, here we have the drill chuck. The drill chuck is very, very important to hold our actual drill bit in there. We have a three jaw uh, drill chuck to hold that. And of course we would use the chuck key to actually tighten down on the drill bit. Now I want to point out the drill chuck uh, is the most dangerous aspect of this piece of equipment. It is the spindle RPM and the rotation of this that can get you caught up into it. So you want to make sure you don't have any uh, thing loose or hanging that would get caught by the rotation of this chuck. Now, as we go through, the drill chuck, of course, is driven by this pulley mechanism up here and the motor. So on the back side here is the motor that controls that. Now that motor is set at one RPM, but we can change the spindle rotation RPM using mechanical advantage in each of these drive pulleys. And if you come right on up here, and you can take a look right here at this chart and you will see the position of those pulleys that need to be set for whatever spindle RPM that you need to use. And the size of your drill bit uh, will determine how fast you want your RPM to be. Typically, a real small drill uh, bit, you will run at a lot higher RPM. The larger your drill bit, the slower your RPM as you go. And as you look through, the spindle RPM range on this drill press runs from 300 RPM all the way up to 3100 RPM. So you want to be mindful of those RPMs and when you set this uh, to set it, we will loosen this up. There is the knob here that loosens that. That allows us to slide the motor back and forth and then we can just remove the pulleys belts to set the pulley belt on whatever uh, size speed that we need that to be. So right now, as I set this, let's say I want to set my pulley RPM to be 560 RPM. So I'm gonna pull this pulley off. You'll notice that I need to be on pulley B on this one and pulley two on my intermediate pulley. So we'll set that to there and then I want to be uh, three and three pulleys over here on my drive pulley and my intermediate pulley. Once I've got the pulleys set where I want them to be for my spindle RPM, then I press that to put tension on the pulley belts, tighten back down to lock that in place. Now, I also need to control my up and down to actually drill the hole through my workpiece. So I can take this arm here, that moves up and down, and if you'll come right over here, I will show you, we can set and make some pretty fine adjustments here to set the actual depth. This goes from zero inches all the way up to four and a half inches uh, to set. And we have that stop right there so that that will stop and limits our travel when we cut and drill through a hole. So this is, if we're drilling a through hole, we don't have to be as concerned, but if we have a blind hole that we're going through, we obviously want to set the stop so we don't drill too deep. Now, in addition to this, sometimes we do have height adjustment on our table. In order to adjust the table height, we first need to unlock this clamp back here free that up and then we have the handle over here on the right hand side that allows us to raise and lower 
the table. So once you've got your height of the table set, and then you want to relock that in place so that the table doesn't move 